So Robin built you a barn, but what animals should you get for it? I'm Shellen Cotton, and I'm here with The Gamer with a lowdown on barns and barn animals in Stardew Valley. The bulk of your money as a farmer comes not just from crops, but from the animals you care for. Barn animals especially are a great way to turn a profit in Stardew. There are a few upgrades and barn animals to choose between, and before you go buying 100 goats, you might want to consider all of your options. If you're ready for your first barn, all you need to do is talk to Robin at her shop. A standard barn will cost you 6,000 gold, 350 wood, and 150 stone to construct, and can be put on any empty 7x4 tile space on your farm. It will hold up to 4 animals inside. The first barn comes with a hay hopper, which allows you to access hay from any of your silos. You can gather hay from the hopper to place it on the feeding bench. With the barn built, you can now purchase cows from Marnie for 1,500 gold. There are two kinds of cows, white cows and brown cows, which the game will choose at random for you. Before you get too excited about launching a chalky milk empire, sadly, the type of cow you purchase does not change the milk they produce. A cow will produce one milk or large milk depending on its friendship and happiness every day. You will need a pail to milk it though, which can be purchased from Marnie. Milk at its base price will sell for 125 gold, but if you craft a cheese press, you can turn your milk into cheese that can sell anywhere from 230 to 460 gold depending on the quality of milk. A standard barn will also house ostriches, but these big birds can't be bought off of Marnie. They can only be hatched from ostrich eggs found on Ginger Island and must be hatched in an ostrich incubator obtained from Professor Snail. It takes seven days for a fully grown ostrich to lay an egg, and one ostrich egg will produce a whopping 10 jars of mayonnaise. Next up, we have the Big Barn upgrade, which will cost 12,000 gold, 450 wood, 200 stone, and will take Robin two days to upgrade. This adds the capacity to hold up to eight animals, plus the ability for animals to get pregnant. The pregnancy option can be switched on or off for each of your barn animals except for ostriches. What this basically means for you is a free barn animal, and you don't even have to do anything extra. Every night, your animals have a 0.275% chance of becoming pregnant. With such slim odds, there's really no downside to having the option turned on. Big barn also means big goats. Goats can be purchased from Marnie for 4,000 gold and produce one goat milk or large goat milk every other day. These can be turned into goat cheese by putting it into the cheese press. Goat cheese will fetch you anywhere between 400 to 800 gold, depending on the goat milk quality, making it a great early game money maker. For a whopping 25,000 gold, 550 wood, and 300 stone, you can purchase the third and final barn upgrade from Robin, the Deluxe Barn. It will take two days to upgrade, and once it's finished, your barn can fit up to 12 animals and will have a brand new auto feed system. This pulls hay automatically from your silo and into the feeding bench. With the deluxe barn, you'll also have unlocked sheep. They can be bought off of Marnie for 8,000 gold and will produce wool every third day. You'll need shears to trim those fluffy little clouds, though, which you can also buy from Marnie. Putting wool into a crafted loom will turn it into cloth, which will sell for 470 gold. The higher the quality of wool you use, the higher the chance you have of obtaining more pieces of cloth from the loom. Building a deluxe barn also unlocks the purchase of pigs. A pig will cost 16,000 gold from Marnie's shop. But unlike cows, goats, or sheep, you won't need any extra tools to reap their benefits because what pigs give you are truffles. Pigs will snuff out one truffle every day so long as they've been fed, are outside the barn, and there are spaces available to find a truffle, i.e. no areas covered by paths or grass. They won't find any truffles if they're inside the barn, however. A normal quality truffle goes for 625 gold, but the real cash cow here, pun intended, is truffle oil, which can be made by placing truffles into an oil maker. All truffle oil sells for 1065 gold, but if you get your hands on an iridium quality truffle, don't bother making that into oil, as the selling price is already 1250 gold. To get the best quality products from your animals, you gotta give them some tender love and care. You can increase an animal's friendship with you and overall happiness in a few different ways. The first way is just by interacting with them every day, which includes petting or milking them. You also need to keep your animals well fed. This means keeping the silos stocked with hay and making sure their feeding bench is always full. Lastly, you can improve your animal's mood by letting them outside the barn. While outside, they'll eat any fresh grass they can get to, which gives them the best mood possible. Don't worry though, your crops are safe. Your animals won't leave the barn though, even with the door open, if it's after 6 p.m. in the winter, or if the weather outside is raining, storming, or snowing. Animals always return to the barn automatically at 6 p.m., so there's no need to worry about calling them in. 
However, if you close the barn door before all the animals are back, they'll be trapped outside for the night. This will make your animals grumpy and an animal trapped outside has a 50% chance of being attacked by a wild animal during the night. If attacked, that animal is gone forever and all your other animals will be in a negative mood. Looking for more guides and tips for Stardew Valley? Check out thegamer.com.